Morning guys, welcome back to another Sanctuary Vlog. So we're coming out right now to feed the goats and the pigs. So instead of our normal routine with the pellets and hay and everything, we're gonna give them all produce today. So we got a ton of produce donations. Shout out to CJ Acres Animal Rescue. They help hook us up with a bunch of produce. Petunia just bit me in the leg. That's nice. Ow. Um, but yeah, Julie! Oh my goodness, I know. But yeah, so we're just gonna dump all this stuff out. There we go, guys. <laughs> Lots of produce donations today. Super awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we'll spread some of this out for the goats a little bit better. Here, Kit Kat. Not impressed. Oh, okay. Got a got a three-legged snob over here. That Kit Kat does not like the lettuce. So I also chopped up some cactus in here for him too, because the pigs actually love cactus. We got cactus, we got tomato, apple, all different kinds of greens, zucchini. And then uh, later we'll be giving them some more pellets and stuff anyways. I'm really surprised the goats are like not really impressed with the greens. I thought you guys thought you would love this. Look at that. They want their pellets. Well, we'll get you some later, okay? Pigs are happy. Daisy's over there. Daisy! You eating some lettuce? But yeah, so what I was trying to say before Petunia kind of got me in the leg there is, uh, you know, huge shout out to our friend uh, Lee at CJ Acres Animal Rescue. And um, they were able to help hook us up with all these donations. So everybody's very happy about that. <laughs> Big happy girl, Julie, you know. So big. You are so big. It is crazy. All right, so it's warm for the next few days and nights. So, got all the tortoises and some food and bringing them out. So, putting all the tortoises out for the next few days. And Pebbles is already on her way. So, here's Fergus, the black Burmese mountain tortoise, and then Pebbles, the yellowfoot tortoise. So they're over here enjoying some bok choy. These are outside. We have like four or five days of warmth. And then I think Friday it gets cold again. So they'll go back inside. But they're enjoying some of the produce donations that we got yesterday. All right, so now we're going to give Jumanji some of these greens too. So some bok choy. this he's unsure it's not cactus <laughs> gotta try it what do you think true yeah. looks pretty happy huh We've also got in the background um, the uh, fence guys out here working on the second alligator pond fencing. So 
that's exciting. You know, hopefully we uh, hear back from the state with the permit within the next uh, two to three weeks, you know? And uh, if we do, then we're ready to roll. It's got a very satisfying crunch. You don't even want the lettuce, really? Just the pellets and some lettuce. No? You guys are so picky. It's so funny. By the end of the day, the lettuce will be gone, but I definitely like their pellets more. And so these are the Patagonian Maras, also called a cavy. The mail to come pull the. Nope, you're not. Oh, come on, everybody's waiting. We know what you're gonna do. We know what you're gonna do. There he goes. Well, this is why we separated them. Oh, they're all going nuts. Are you coming in or out? I'm going to stay out. Right. Oh my goodness, Hazel. Everybody is all worked up. Okay, okay, okay. Chaos. So they are getting uh, tricky necks. Oh, see, I wasn't on the spot. I gotta stand right here. I usually feed her in her lock so she can't even see the other two. That's a good idea. She is such a little savage. There. All right, so what are they getting? Tricky neck, ground. Chicken? What is that? It's actually rabbit. Ground rabbit? Jet will be so offended. Well, we got so much from all of our supporters. We have an entire freezer full. So I had a little bit of rabbit left over, so I gave it to them. And then they also got some uh, peas, uh, hard boiled egg, apple, dried bugs, bee pollen. Is that bee pollen? Um, yeah. That's pumpkin powder. Pumpkin powder. Okay. And then some lettuce in there too. Uh, I noticed from like comments and whatnot, a lot of people are surprised to learn that foxes are omnivores. Do you want to you want to explain that? You're better versed on the diet stuff. Um, I mean, it is it is what you said. They're omnivorous. They are not just carnivores. They're opportunistic, so they'll eat other things. And we give them a little bit of fruit. We give them some veggies, insects, meat. Mm -hmm. That's what they eat. Yeah. So a lot of people seem to be of the opinion that they are strictly carnivorous, and that is incorrect. So, they, uh, they seem like they like the meat the most, but they eat everything, you know, and they, they do. They even try to eat the palm tree. They uh, pretty much did. <laughs> that poor thing's got one palm frond left. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit here and play bodyguard. Man, Hazel is so crazy. Like, she's crazy. The second you like turn your back, you're not directly blocking her. She's up there, man. Hi, Shippo. This is our mail. Hey, buddy. You're in your house? Look, that's for you. There you go. Yeah. 
Well, he is definitely uh, taking longer to acclimate, but at least he's in the house and he's chilling. He doesn't look like he's, you know, he's not like pacing or anything like that. So obviously he's not acclimating as well as the females did, but we'll get there. All right, so now we're feeding the quaddies. Here's Lily eating some banana. Oh, she loves that banana. So she's eating in the lockout, so as are all the quaddies, so they're all locked up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go in there and clean up all the poop. So we also gave Lily a little enrichment board. So she looks like she's having a fun time. Put some little marshmallow treats in there for her. You having fun? Yeah. So that's the turkey neck, by the way. I guess she's not that much of a fan. Well, I don't know. It looks like she ripped most of the meat off of it, but you know, it's all just covered in dirt. So she does that. I've noticed like she's the main one that does it where she will just roll any kind of meat in the dirt to eat it. It's really weird. Like it purposefully covers it in dirt. Look at how cute the baby emus are. Just hanging out over there while it's cleaning up all the quaddy poop. You got so much good stuff today, Jelly Bean. Yeah. All well, you care about is blueberries, but yeah, lots of good stuff. So he's got uh, blueberries, apple, uh, zucchini, peas, blackberry, strawberry, um, mango, and bugs. And all he cares about is blueberries. You got so much good stuff, though. There's so much good stuff. Look at that. Huh? Hi, Clo. Hi, Clo, Clo. Are you strutting? Are you strutting? Yeah. <gasps> Chloe. Come here, Clo. Oh, look at that strut. Look at that strut. Look at that good girl, Clo. Oh, this good girl, Clo. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, baby. And we got QP. QP Doopy. Oh, look at QP. And then Chloe just jumped on me. The emus followed me, and Chloe is not happy. That's Chloe screaming at them. All right, guys, come on. Let's go. So we still got the tarp up over here. It's been getting down a little bit cold, but soon we'll be able to take all this off. All right, it's now here with the prairie dogs. Like a big harv. Oh, big harv. My big harv, don't bite me. It'd be nice. It'd be nice. Maybe. Kind of. Yeah. And Poppy immediately climbed up in my lap. Hi, Poppy. Oh. And Coco. Poppy and Coco. Oh, hi, guys. They're so crazy. Look at them. And Poppy's gonna fall. <laughs> Poppy, you're so crazy. You don't need to climb me, Poppy. There. You guys, you guys, you guys. Okay, here, go eat some food. Come on, get off me. Nope. Go eat your food. No. Go eat your food. <laughs> Poppy, you are ridiculous. Why don't you go eat food, huh? Go eat your food, Poppy. Here. Go 
Go back over there. Watch. And it worked? Nope. <laughs> he wants to climb me. He wants to be in my face. Poppy. Why are you like this, Poppy? Poppy sustains himself solely on attention. No food necessary. Just attention. All right, so now we're in the small parrot aviary with the cockatiels and budgies. So, as usual, these two are attached to me. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm not very good at whistling, but some of these guys are. And all these little pretty birds. Just gave them all fresh food. They're all hanging out together. Although the lighting looks terrible, because, you know, we still got the tarps up for the cold, but they still look cute. So I'm just taking a lunch break now, and look at how cute they are. They just came over the pool, came over to hang out, sitting in the golf cart, eating lunch. And they came over to hang out. It's a scratch. You can't eat it. Can, can I pet you? Ooh. Oh, wow, that's the most. Wow, that's the most we've ever done. All right, so we just did some shopping. Got some food for everybody. So we got pig food here. Just loaded up goat food. Got a bunch of hay. Uh, got some roof flashing pieces there too. So we're gonna use that for um, the birds where they have been shooing. We got chicken food. Nice having a truck. So nice having a truck. We used to do all this in Gabby's Honda Civic. And a flock block. <laughs> all right, so we're heading back with all the um, animal groceries, I guess you could say. And uh, along the way, we were contacted by FWC. We are one of the recipients for their pet amnesty program. And uh, somebody contacted them about a sulcata tortoise right next to us, actually. It's only 15 minutes away. So we're taking a little detour right now to go pick it up. And uh, yeah, so we'll be there in 15 minutes. That was just kind of random and out of nowhere, right? <laughs> I, guess, uh, I guess we have three sulcata tortoises at the sanctuary right now. Yeah, yeah, so. Uh, Usually, okay, so with sulcatas, it's really hard to find them homes because they get so big. I mean, you guys see how big Jumanji is and the, the amount of care and effort and food and everything that goes into him. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, now, usually, like, we don't really accept sulcatas, but because this is, like, 10 minutes away, it's the same thing with our pig, Julie. We're not accepting pigs, but because Julie was... 10 minutes away you know I just I feel like it's our responsibility to kind of help our community that's why we're here so that's why we're gonna do this all right so we just picked up the tortoise <laughs> I guess uh, we'll do a proper look over and introduction to the tortoise when we actually get home we're not driving <laughs> we're like five minutes from the house so here's a pygmy rattlesnake coming in so we're just driving into basically our driveway. And check that out. Got the tortoise in the truck and everything. You can see twitching the little tiny rattle back there. One of our native venomous snakes of Florida. So look how small it is next to my boot. So this, uh, they do get bigger than that, but this is an adult pygmy. That's not a baby. That's why they're called a pygmy rattlesnake because they are very small they're also very pretty and they are quite variable in coloration sometimes they're very very orange sometimes they're very dark now obviously i handle venomous snakes so i don't recommend anybody gets this close to one and a snake of this size cannot penetrate through this boot um but you know if you don't know what you're doing don't try to do something like this all right so i'll take a good look at this gabby has decided to name the tortoise shelly 
Oh, what is that, Clovey? So, all right, all right, go. Cool. So this is an African spur thigh tortoise, or as we commonly call them, sulcata. And uh, baby emus, everybody's coming over to check it out. So this is, well, this is a very healthy looking tortoise in very rough shape. Um, so we are assuming, we have no idea how long it was out in the wild, you know. Uh, the people that we just picked it up from, they said they found it in their yard, so. A week ago. A week ago. Um, so we don't know how long it's been out there in the wild, but just looking at it, um, these are all supposed to be little spurs. So these are all broken, either broken off, bitten off, or it could even be frostbite, honestly. Yeah. Um, so those are gone and messed up. Uh, you can see right here, this thing, all this breaking all over the, the carapace of the shell. Um, that looks like a tooth mark. That looks like a tooth. That looks like a dog. So if you see the two teeth coming like this, that looks like a dog bite. On the bottom too. Yeah, so here, obviously there, there. So looks like it probably was getting chewed on pretty good back here too. So yeah, out there in the wild, uh, getting chewed on by all kinds of animals. Here too, Those are that's a different one. Those are smaller teeth. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's a different bite. I'm impressed that the gentleman uh, knew it wasn't a gopher tortoise. Yeah, you know, this is like the perfect definitely, size. it's perfect gopher tortoise size for someone who doesn't really know what they're thinking, you know, know what they're talking about. To be like, oh yeah, it's a gopher tortoise, whatever, you know? Um, what? Oh, they're being crazy? You got zoomies? They're rolling around. You guys being crazy? <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> crazy but um yeah so usually when we get a, like a call or something like that it's often a gopher tortoise that they think is you know not native or something like that um but this one i was like wow that, it, actually it is um you know that's pretty cool so we're gonna try to put this in with theodore yeah and see hopefully yeah. we gotta watch really make sure we can't escape yeah i want to soak her first and then um, I want to put some stuff on her shell. Come on, Emus. Baby Emu bath time. They love taking baths. <laughs> They're so cute. Little Loch Ness monster. The big one definitely loves the water more. <laughs> so cute. They have little chicken wings. Oh, was I getting too deep for you? <laughs> oh my god. Flop. <laughs> In the mud. <laughs> I love the flopping. There you go. Big wet chicken on stilts. All right, so now we gotta unload the truck, bring all the feed in and all the hay and everything. The flock block is a hit. Everybody looks very happy. Good star. Having time of her life. Oh, 
I love the fluffy ones. So cute. Oh, vicious. Hello, sir. Hi, Comet. Hi, Comet. Feeding the ducks some. Emus and clover hanging out. Looks like we might get some rain. All right, sun is setting. It's not full dark yet, but it's getting there. So we're gonna go ahead and do our night check a little bit early. Just make sure everybody's good. Go ahead and feed Jet and Asami. You know, it's crazy, this phone, I can see better through the phone than I can like with my eyes. Like it is definitely brighter through the phone footage than it is for me looking right now. There you go, Asami. Oh, this happy girl. Sounds like she's eating some bugs. She's got celery, carrots, apple, uh, omnivore diet, some bugs, some zucchini. She's definitely loving the bugs, it looks like. You hear the baby emus? There you go, Jet. There you go, buddy. Let me try this with the flash. Oh, that's way better. There you go. All right, guys, well, that is the end of the video since, uh, Feeding everybody kind of early here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Had a very, very busy day. So hopefully you all enjoyed it and uh, we'll see everybody next time. There you go, Jet.